Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part 5, I believe. Oh no, sorry, part 4. Um, and we're going to be editing shops. So let's do that. So as you can see, we can buy stuff from the shop. We can sell stuff from the shop. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is show you how to edit them. Let's get right into it. First, you're going to need to open up Eclipse, go down, and go to Data, Items, and then you're going to be Unpack Shops file, just like this. Pretty cool. So this is the key, which is just a number, so you don't have any conflicts. Um, this is the money value, so what you, what the currency will be. So this is the regular default coins, which is 995, so that's what will be used in the shop to buy stuff. Um, this is just a boolean. I'm not too sure what the what this is referring to as true or false not too sure what it's referring to but uh yeah this is the name um this is the items that it's selling so let's add a new shop here let's go down actually let's let's just so we can do this let's edit this regular bob's brilliant axis so let's do that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a whip um, let's do tin in stock. So this is the item ID for whip, which is 4151, and the um, quantity of it is 10. So let's add. These are the only numbers I know by heart or IDs. So I'm gonna add these because um, I played a lot of spawn servers, obviously. So yeah, here we go. This is it. Um, Bob's brilliant axes. Let's do not Bob's Brilliant Axes. Um, let's also change the money value. So let's do a different coins. So as you can see, 8890. Let's see if this is stackable. It is. So let's do 8890 as the current thing. So let's do 8890, just like that. Unpack shop. And now I'm going to save. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to do, as you can see, pack shops right here. What you're going to do is you're going to delete that. You're going to need to delete that before you do anything. So let's um, delete that. And let's stop the server. Stop the server. And let's start up the server again. And now down here it should say packing shops right there. Because we did um, delete it. Um, and now I'm going to open up the client. And it should go back in game and it should be all sorted out. But first I need to spawn some of these coins in, which is 8890. Okay, so let's type in item 8890. Let's get some coins in here, um, and let's actually drop this cash stack. That's the regular coins. This is the new ones. So as you see down here, um, it shows the price, so 16. Now we're going to buy it, but let's actually do some of these. As you can see, it's taking these coins down. These are not regular coins, by the way. These are the new ones that we made. So yeah, and as you can see, the items are in the shop. There's a quantity of 10, and that's pretty cool. So that's how you add items to a shop. And as you see, if we take that, that goes in the money pouch. Can't add this one to the money pouch because it's not real coins. So now if we drop this one, try and buy items from the shop. Interesting. That still works. That's very, very strange. Oh. I guess it worked from your money pouch either way. That's a bit of a bit of a bug I'll be honest with you it's pretty cool so yeah that's how you edit shops it's very strange don't know why that why that happens um, thanks for watching guys